Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekly vlog. It's Sunday evening now around 5 o'clock p.m. and I just got out of the shower and did my hair and just put on some loungewear and it's just been a really really relaxing weekend which was much needed. Yesterday we went to a local fall festival for the first few hours of the day and it was like actually chilly outside and so the kids were wearing jeans and sweatshirts and jackets and I had on like a sweatshirt and jeans. It's just like so nice. The air just feels so good. It's like that fresh fall air. And then this morning was the first morning since late winter, early spring, much earlier this year, where I woke up and there was a chill in the house. Like it felt like I wanted to go put on a pair of slippers and I'm so excited. I'm so excited um, to be to be heading into some cooler weather months is just such a so wonderful. Hi, Charlie. What are you doing? Come here. For all of you Charlie Bear fans, here he is, nine years old, <laughs> kind of becoming a grumpy old man, <laughs> but we love him nonetheless. Um, so that was yesterday during the beginning part of the day, like the fall festival started at 10 and we got there right at 10. We probably got home around one or so and then the kids took naps. I took a little nap while they napped and then yesterday evening we had our good friends over for dinner. Riley made this delicious dinner. And yesterday, Colin just started just walking. I'll put in some footage here. He has been toddling for the past few weeks, but yesterday he just took off and he has not looked back since. He is just walking all over the house today. I just gave the kids a bath and he was walking back and forth in the bath, which is extremely dangerous. So of course I was trying to make sure he was being safe, um, but it was really cute because it was like, he just realized yesterday, oh, I can walk. And that seems faster than crawling. And he just like up and did it. Um, so that was yesterday. And then today we've been relaxing, we watched the football game, Riley ordered some wings. So he's having a great time. Um, I gave the kids a nice bath. I took a nice long, hot Sunday shower, um, where I like exfoliated and did the deep conditioner, you know, one of those showers where you do all of the extras and I just, I just feel so good. I feel great. Um, and that is, I think really all of the upfront things I have to say, um, in this vlog, but I wanted to say, Happy Sunday. Welcome to another one of our weeks, and I'm so glad that you're here. Good morning. I don't think I've picked up the camera yet today. Let's see what time it is. It's 12.30. I just cleaned up our playroom and just am kind of doing a little bit of tidying and cleaning around the house. Both of the kids are napping, which is always such a win when they nap at the same time. Colin has been going through some major sleep regression situations, so... He has not been napping at regular times for a while there. He was so consistent. Well, that is over. Um, and so it's always great when the two of them nap at the same time. We are going to head over once they wake up after we do some lunch over to my mother-in-law's house. She takes off work some Mondays and this is one of those Mondays. So it's always nice to go over there to her new home and uh, we can play over there and the kids just to get out of the house. It's great for great for everyone. I just got this shirt. Let me prop you guys up so you can see it a little bit better. Um, it's just from Amazon, but I really like the cut of it. Um, it has like a more modern trendy cut with kind of the longer drop sleeves and the crop, more cropped waist. I just have black leggings on, but it'd be really cute like with a little French tuck in like some jeans or something. And then this is from Amazon too. Um, I actually just got a, um, yesterday, a whole box of um, Prime Try Before You Buy, which is Amazon's like version of, it's sort of like Stitch Fix, except for what I like about it way more than Stitch Fix, is that you get to pick your own items. So you get to fill your box with six items. They have all kinds of things, shoes, jewelry, accessories, and then all kinds of clothing. Um, so I did... I think a dress, a sweater, a, a sweatshirt, and then three tops or something. I'll show you them all later. I'm not gonna do it right now because I wanna get some things done while the kids are napping, but I did them all in my autumn colors, and um, this is like a pretty moss green. It's very comfortable. 
I like having shirts like this that feel a little bit more like an outfit rather than being just super casual. It's nice to have both. Um, you know, you throw in a little necklace and you do your hair and it's like, oh, she tried, you know, but I like barely tried. I will link this below, um, but I will also show you the other things I got in my box because I have not tried them all on yet. I've only tried on two of the things, so I'm trying to decide which of them I'm keeping. Today is a very nostalgic day for me because on this day last year, I was in labor with my son, Colin, who was born um, at 1.23 a.m., like tonight, tomorrow, early morning, if that makes sense. So on this day last year, I woke up and I never went to bed again until I had Colin in my arms because I never slept. I tried to sleep. I even took a, um, oh gosh, what are those called? Anyway, I took like a sleep aid, half of one, I think. And I got in bed and I laid there awake for 15 minutes and my contraction started kicking in. If you know the story, you can say it with me. I got up, I went into my bathroom, I was like, wow, these are getting a lot stronger. We get in the car, I go through full transition, every stage of labor, including transition in the car on the, I think it took us about 45 minutes, it's normally an hour, drive to my birth center. And um, Riley was going as fast as he possibly could while maintaining some level of safety because I was crowning in the car. My midwives literally carried me in, threw me basically in a gentle way into the birthing tub. And Colin was born within three minutes. <laughs> My water broke as we pulled into the birth center. It was the wildest night of my life. And that was tonight, a year ago. So um, it's just unbelievable that it's already been a whole year. I can't believe it. Um, I just, it's just so crazy. So crazy. Oh, let me show you our, um, I don't think I showed this yet our mirror we hung. Okay, so I haven't tidied up the pillows yet. Um, I think I showed in the last vlog our new rug. I will link it and we got this off of Facebook Marketplace. I need to style it. All those random candles are not, that's not legitimate. But we got our mirror. I wanna lower it. Um, Riley hung it and then last night I was looking at it, I was like, mm, it's a little too high. I'd like it to be mm, probably about six to eight inches lower so it's much closer to the mantle but i love it i love the look of it now of course if you give a mouse a cookie now i want to get a different light fixture which i've wanted to get all along um, because it reflects the light fixture and i we don't use the fan back here and it's not really that beautiful but we could get like a really pretty light fixture but this room is really shaping up um uh, we are going to get rid of this gallery wall i'm just tired of it and we're going to hang up this sign that i've loved so much um, it's a verse out of isaiah and this sign is from a company called House of Belonging. I don't think they do these kinds of signs anymore. I got it a few years ago, but I totally love it. Um, so I think I'm going to hang it up there. Um, I'd like to get some different lamps, you know, just freshen, freshen, freshen up. Other news, we got a call from our realtor last week that um, there may be a property coming up for sale. There are two different properties um, that might be appealing to us. Um, both of which are being built on. One is a home that's like totally dilapidated, so they're gonna tear it almost all the way down and rebuild, and one is just land that they're gonna build on, and it is in our desired neighborhood, our desired location, and um, we have looked at some other properties that this particular builder has either renovated or built from scratch, and we just love his style and um, the way that he builds. So. It's looking kind of promising. I don't know. I'm, I, my hopes don't get up at all anymore with real estate because we've been going through it for two years and it's just been such a, such a hard time um, right now with the market the way that it is. But we are going to have a meeting at least some point in the next few weeks and see if we could maybe figure something out. Um, so it's kind of exciting. But like I said, I really don't let myself get too excited because it's, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, we just have to just patiently sit and wait and at some point something will will come up that suits us for now this house that we're in is um, very very functional for our family in most ways um, the lack of a backyard like outdoor play space is it has been has become increasingly more difficult as the kids get older and as the weather gets cooler where it's like we want to spend all day outside and it's just really hard to do that but I really can't complain we love this house it's been so so good to us um, 
but it's exciting to hear about the prospect of maybe something coming up that could um, meet some of our needs. So we'll see. I'll keep you in the loop with that, but I don't think we're going to have that meeting for a few more weeks, so it might not be for a little while. Um, what are you growling about? It's a few minutes before eight and I'm getting the kids in their pajamas and Colin's pulling everything out of the drawer. But I got these cute, they're the same print, but they're different colors. These cute birthday pajamas from Little Sleepies, which is our current fave. And look, Colin has his little birthday pajamas on. And Nora has them too, but Nora's, what color are yours? Uh, pink. And what color are Bubba's? Where's he? Blue. Blue. This is exactly why I don't bother folding really hardly at all. Because this is his favorite activity. <laughs> You're going to take all of it out? Yep. Okay. I'm feeling so mushy right now because a year ago I was just having a relaxing evening. At this point, still didn't know I was in labor. I was having contractions every once in a while, but I had contractions every once in a while for like almost two weeks before I had him. So it was nothing new or different. And then unisom is the word I was looking for this morning. Took my little unisom, little half a unisom so I could try to get some sleep. And 15 minutes later, I woke up in full blown labor with this little chunker. And so like, it sort of feels like his birthday is today because it was at 1.23 a.m. and I never went to sleep, you know what I mean? So it's like it was this morning that I woke up that I had him. Right? Come here. Oh. He's getting tired because it's just about bedtime. I worked this afternoon for like six hours and then we ate dinner as a family. Oh, gosh. And then... <laughs> And then Riley went back up to work. So I'm doing bedtime. I don't know what he's doing. Hello? No, I don't have my pajamas on yet. Oh, are you hungry? Colin. Colin, do you want some milk? That would be a uh, resounding yes. All right, I'm going to rock him and nurse him. And when you wake up in the morning... And when he wakes up in the morning, he will be one, officially. sleep and Colin's going to wake up a one-year-old and I am having such a weird, I know I've mentioned it like multiple times today, but I'm having such a weird deja vu this evening. I think because the weather is super similar to what the weather was like last year. I have like the porch light on and all these lights on because um, this woman was supposed to come pick up, she was supposed to come do a Facebook Marketplace pickup and she just ghosted me, which I've had that happen three times recently. I'm like, all right, y'all. A little bit annoying. Charlie, let me give you some fresh water. Um, but it was really sweet, nursing Colin down and rocking him down. I remember doing that on the eve of Nora's first birthday and um, in Broken Bow, or might have been the, the evening of her first birthday. Um, but it was really sweet nonetheless. 
I am. Um... Here you go, Papa. Nora was playing, and when I came out after I um, put Colin down, she said, Mommy, I, I put your pajamas out for you. And I was like, what? And she had gone into my closet and laid these pajamas out. And I said, what do you mean? Where'd you get them? And she said, I went into your closet. So thoughtful. And she had them all laid out for me. And she was like, here, I'll help you. And she helped me put them on. <laughs> so sweet. So sweet. I'm enjoying her age so much. This like late two-year-old, almost three-year-old. So cute and smart and sweet and fun. I'm just like loving this age a lot. Um, every age has amazing things about it and hard things about it, but this particular age seems to have just like mostly amazing things. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. I am going to, I don't actually know what I'm gonna do. I never have the house to myself like this. Um, Riley's still at work. Probably get a little bit of work done. Maybe fold a load of laundry, watch a little bit of TV, and try to get him in, in bed relatively early because I have a session with my personal trainer first thing in the morning. So I'm gonna need my energy for that. I will see you guys tomorrow on Colin's first birthday. Where does the time go? Good morning, birthday boy. Happy birthday, sweet potato. I just got back from my workout. I have my big one-year-old boy right here. I'll have to show you what his shirt says. It says, the one and only Colin. Riley made his shirt for him. I came home to find that my sweet friend Becca dropped off coffee for Riley and I, as well as um, breakfast for our whole family this morning. I came home from the gym, if I didn't already say that. Um, I decided not to cancel my workout today because it's only one hour. And um, I did cancel our babysitter though for the day because I wanted to be home with my Kali Bali on his first birthday. He's so sweet. Um, it's been a good day so far. It's still early, but I got to get my workout in. Riley got some good quality time with the kids and he's taking a half day, so he's gonna come home early. We had talked about going and doing a pumpkin patch um, this afternoon once Riley came home from his half day because um, we thought that would be a fun place that Colin could sort of toddle around. This coffee is so good. It's like an iced pumpkin situation and I do not like iced pumpkin situations normally because that pumpkin puree iced is really not appealing to me. But this must be just like a syrup. It's very cinnamony, it's very good. Um, this is from like a local coffee shop, not from Starbucks. Um, it's delicious. It's so delicious. And she's so, she's just like so thoughtful and she knows me so well. She's like, I got you decaf because I knew you would have already had coffee by the time you went to work out. And sure enough, it's like, you know, you don't want to pack on the caffeine and be like very, very jittery. Um, anyway, we're going to do a pumpkin patch this afternoon. That was our original plan, but it's rainy. Um, which is actually so nice. It's such a cozy day. This shirt is very appropriate, comfy and cozy. From my shop, this is a, what color is this? This is a hemp. It looks like blue spruce on camera, but it's hemp. Let's see if we can get it. So I have two colors in my shop that people sometimes get confused. One is called blue spruce and one is called hemp. Hemp is this one. This is, right now, currently, this is very, hemp is like a forest green and blue spruce is, um, like a vintage green with more blue in it. Anyway. Um, because it's raining, I, we're not gonna go to the pumpkin patch. <laughs> I'm having such a hard time telling you that we're not going to the pumpkin patch due to the weather. <laughs> it hasn't rained though in quite literally, I think months. I can't think of the last time it's rained. There he goes. So we will take the rain. Um, and we talked about doing a couple of other different things, but ultimately Colin's favorite thing to do is walk around and climb. And 
anywhere that we had mentioned, we were like, well, we're gonna have to put him in a stroller for that. And we're gonna have to put him in a stroller for that. We're gonna have to put him in a stroller for that, which really is not that fun for him. So I think we're just gonna stay here and have a family day. And um, we're gonna make a yummy dinner together. And I bought things to make cupcakes. So Nora and I are gonna make cupcakes tonight or while he's napping this afternoon. Um, we're gonna make cupcakes for his birthday and I think Riley's mom my mother-in-law might be coming over to join us for dinner and cupcakes It'll be really fun. It'll be really fun. My mom Asked me what to get Colin for his birthday and I said a Patagonia fleece would be amazing because we have this exact same one but in a different colorway for Nora and it is the perfect weight for Texas falls and winters and look how cute is that not adorable? How stinking cute. I'm trying to make it so you can see there. It has a little hood. Nora's is this like a purple and a pink colorway and it's just precious on her. And she got it for her first birthday from my sister and she still wears it. She's so small. She still fits into it and she still wears it. Um, and Patagon just make, it's just like such nice high quality and um, it lasts a very long time. So it's fantastic. So once Nora's worn out of hers, I will give it to Allie to use with my niece Eliza. Um, and then Collins, I don't know what I'll do with it. Um, but that's the update for the morning. I feel like that was very jumbled. Where's my coffee? I don't want to leave that here. It was, um, the ice was pretty much melted. So I added some nugget ice back into it to freshen it up. Let me close the pantry door because Colin loves to go in there. The other morning he went in there and poured garlic powder all over himself. So that was a yummy smell all throughout our house. It smelled like Olive Garden in our house. And I was like, why at 6 a.m.? Why does it smell like Olive Garden right now? And it was because Colin had found a jar, a, a shaker of garlic powder and somehow opened it and just literally poured it all over his head and body. And so he, before it was even 6 a.m., we were in a full out bubble bath to rid him of the garlic smell but he had eaten some of it and his mouth and his breath stunk <laughs> for like days <laughs> all right that's the update on colin's first birthday yeah. <laughs> he still has some rice on his face come on nora you can help him yeah you can help him come on look you tear this off do you do that there we go. Yeah. There you go, Baba. Good job, Nora. You want the balloon so bad? Nora, what is that? Oh, so a bath nice. toy. A bath toy. You're right. Colin's so excited. A lot of bath toys, huh? Yeah. Ooh, is it heavy? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
my sister-in-law and her three kids came over and we did cupcakes and decaf coffee for the adults. I feel like I have a piece of hair across my forehead. I cannot stand that feeling. Ah, I can't get it off. Um, we did decaf coffee for the adults and then uh, the kids played for a while and it was really, really fun. And Colin is just wide awake. Well, good job, big boy. Yeah, you see that? He is just wired. He ate his, his birthday cupcake, or at least, I think he ate most of it, actually. He ate some of it, most of it. And then immediately he started just like squealing. I'm like, wow, that sugar rush really hit ya. That sugar rush really hit ya. My mother-in-law gave, woo, gave him some bath toys, which she asked me if there was anything that he could use. And I said, he could use some fresh bath toys because you know, bath toys get kind of nasty. And then my nephew, Simon, it was really sweet. He said, um, he found this. Good job, Nora. Simon said he found this dinosaur and he was like, I don't play with it anymore. So I thought Colin might like it. And Colin truly, rah, he loves it. He's been playing with it all evening. Oh, is that a T-Rex? He just climbed up on my couch. Oh, hi. Riley just took Colin to go put him in PJs because it is well past his bedtime. Hopefully that means he'll sleep super late, but that it doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean that. But I'm here's hoping. Here's Do hoping. You, have mice? you brought me my pajamas? Yeah. Again. Again? Yeah. Oh no, no. That's so <coughs> nice. Yeah. Did you do that last night too? Can you tell the camera what you did last night? I am mommy yama at night. You got mommy's pajamas last night? Mm -hmm. And you did it again tonight? Why are you doing that? I yeah, do it. Just to do it? Because <coughs> it's nice? Mm -hmm. oh. Last night, I truly was on the verge of tears. I had, did I say this last night? I, don't, I can't think of, I don't know if I said this, but I set her up and I went, um, cause Riley was working late and I went back to, I feel like I already told you this. I went back to Colin's room to put him to sleep. And when I came back out, Nora had got my pajamas and they were in the front room last night. And she laid them out and said, mommy, I got your pajamas for you. I went in your closet and got you your pajamas. And it was so sweet. So sweet. Thank you for getting me my pajamas again. Daddy, well, mommy's right here. <laughs> Daddy's with Colin. He's getting him in his pajamas. Oh, uh, I have, I have a room. Yeah, in his room. I love this age with her. I love both of their ages, but her personality is just shining. It's so sweet. Anyway, it has been a great day celebrating our sweet Collie. Just love that boy, something fierce. And it's been a really fun, low-key day as a family. Spending time together, we had a great afternoon all together and then getting to do dinner and dessert with the fam was great. And then we're really doing, I think I've already said this too, we're doing like a combined birthday for Nora and Colin when we are away at the end of the month with our whole family on both sides. Um, so this was kind of an impromptu. Um, as I was cooking dinner, I texted Emily and said, hey, do you wanna come over? My other sister-in-law's out of town. Um, but I said, hey, you wanna come over with the kids and uh, and do cupcakes? And it was really fun. I'm really glad we did that for his first birthday. Unbelievable, what a year, what a year. Probably the hardest year of my life, not like emotionally, but um, I don't even know what, what from what perspective, like, physically just not getting a lot of sleep and being responsible for a toddler and Riley and I were talking about a toddler and a newborn Riley and I were up late talking about it last night after we put the kids to bed and we were like that what a year 
what a year. It was not easy. Transitioning from one to two for us was a lot harder than from zero to one. Ch children, ch child or children. I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time talking. I'm really, I'm exhausted too. I had a hard workout this morning and I've been up all day. Um, anyway, the one to two transition for us was killer. It was really, really hard. There's just so many factors. Your whole life gets turned upside down and you've got this toddler who was in some kind of routine and rhythm and that kind of gets thrown out the window there for a minute. And it's just kind of like treading water slash chaos. I do feel that lately things have gotten to a much more easy place day to day. We can, our routines are a lot more reliable, but it's just, it was months of just like, you just had to take it minute one minute at a time, one hour at a time, because when I would think about like the whole entire week, it was just, it's just overwhelming. It's a lot. Um, it's a lot, but what an incredible year, a hard year, but so rewarding, so fulfilling, so worth it. Just incredible. So I'm going to bed tonight with a very happy heart and I'm so grateful for my kids and I can't believe Collins won. And I'm so grateful for him and for his health that he is one. What a gift to grow and age. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It is Wednesday and our babysitter is here with the kids. So I'm heading out to go and work for a little while. I am like really um, exhausted this morning. <laughs> Yesterday I was just, you know, I don't know. It was a full day and I had a hard workout in the morning. And then last night, Colin woke up just partying at 4.30 a.m. So I got up with him and let him burn off some energy from about 4.30 to 6.30. And then I put him back down and then I went and got in bed and then I slept from 6.30 to like 9.30. Um, so I just feel really out of it because I it was like a weird disjointed night of sleep. So anyway, I'm going to get myself over there, get some work done. I've got a lot of shirts to sort. I've got some orders to ship. I have two different videos I would like to edit. So I definitely have a lot going on um, that I need to get done today. Between today and tomorrow, I also have our babysitter tomorrow. So that will be helpful. Although tomorrow morning, I have Colin's one year appointment at the pediatrician. So um, some of my time will be eaten up by that. So, <laughs> I'm really tired. Ooh, gotta wake up. Nora, where are we? At the doctor. We're at the doctor for who? Bad Bubba's checkup. For Bubba's checkup. <laughs> this is what Colin's up to. <laughs> He never stops moving. I love our pediatrician so much. Most of the rooms are Disney themed, but this one's not. Hello, it's Thursday afternoon now. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon and we just got back from a full morning of driving to the kid's pediatrician's office for Colin's one year appointment. Everything went really well. He is growing so much like a weed. He is um, in the 88th percentile for height. So he is, no, 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 80th percentile for head circumference, 77th percentile for height. So he's tall, he's got a big old brain, and then he's only in the 27th percentile for weight. So he's a lot like his sister, tall and thin, but he's much taller. Um, I think he's quite a few, I don't know, of inches, at least a couple inches taller than Nora was. He's definitely going to be tall like his daddy. Riley is 6'4", so we are anticipating that. I tried to film a little bit. Um, a little intro to today while I was down there, but my sister FaceTimed in the middle of it and I don't think it saved because I was using my phone. So here I am saying hello. We just got back from the pediatrician. Our babysitter will be here soon and I'm going to go work, but first we're going to do lunch. I just wanted to say hello. Welcome to our Thursday. Good morning. It's Friday. It's 845 and I'm sitting outside of the gym just about to go in, do my little cardio warm up. That word was hard for me to find. <laughs> and then um, I'll work out for my with my trainer for an hour. I actually got some good sleep last night and the night before, so I'm feeling pretty refreshed right now. Um, Colin tried to pull his little 4 a.m. party last night, and I was like, we are not doing this today. So I just kept nursing him and rocking him until he finally went back to sleep. That boy.
oh man, he just, he just doesn't really enjoy sleeping very much. And I really enjoy sleeping, so it doesn't work out that great sometimes. Anyway, I'm going to head in and do this. The weather outside is gorgeous today. Right now it's like 55 degrees. It feels so nice. The air is just so refreshing. For people who don't live in places that get just ultra hot during the summer, you might not necessarily understand why I keep talking about the fresh air. But this summer, it's probably like for for those folks who live in cold weather climates, it's like when it starts warming up in the spring, that's how I feel right now. Like after you've had just months and months of it being just bitter cold and ice and snow and sleet and winter boots and like parkas and hats and gloves and everything. And then you start feeling that warmth creep into the air and how it just makes you feel such a sense of relief. That's how we feel coming off of summer because the summer here is the most brutal season. It's just so, so hot. And so as the air starts cooling off, it's like truly like a relief. Like, oh, we're done with that heat. We're done. We're done. We're done. Um, so it's great. It's really good. All right. I'm going to head inside and get this workout in and uh, I will check in with you guys in a little while. I hope you're having a great day. I'm so happy it's Friday. And this air feels amazing. I got back from the gym a little while back and just took a nice shower. And my hair is still wet from that. I have a few things that I got in the mail this week that I wanted to show you. So let me show you that. So the first thing is this supplement. It is by a brand called Live Conscient conscious live conscious <laughs> and it's called magwell and it is a magnesium supplement i get really really bad restless leg syndrome at night um, especially really bad it got way worse during my pregnancies but i have been dealing with it ever since high school and it is a sign of a magnesium deficiency and even though i take a magnesium supplement overnight with working out recently, I've noticed it's gotten a little bit worse. And so I started taking this and this is making a world of difference. I did some research to find like the best magnesium supplement on the market for restless legs. And this is the one that came up. You can't get it on Amazon. You have to order it directly from their site. Um, and it was $20 even including shipping for a two month supply. So I've been using it for four or five days. It's working really well. Definitely recommend it. I also picked up some new hair clips off of Amazon. I thought the tortoise shell was really cute. I love wearing my hair back like that. Um, I got some more of these hair coils. I love using these. They work so well. If you have long or thick hair, these are what you want. I will link these below. I'll link all of this stuff below. This is a fun new thing. These are called NFCs. And some of you are like, oh yeah, I love NFCs. And some of you are like, what are they? Um, I will talk about more about them at another point, um, but they are a really cool piece of technology. And so I bought a pack of NFCs and then I bought some double-sided tape so that I can adhere them to different surfaces around the house. Um, they're pretty cool. And then last but not least, I got this really sweet package in the mail from a, an Etsy shop called The Happy Clover with these cute as a button ghost little earrings. I'm totally gonna wear those. Um, around Halloween and here is the happy clover I will link her Etsy shop below but I took a look at it and there are so many adorable clay earrings in the shop um, that I think you guys would totally love so definitely check them out I think that's everything that I wanted to show you I will talk more about these NFC's in a little while but um, my battery's about to die so I'm gonna charge up my battery and then I will share more Okay, I just went ahead and did my hair, and I wanted to share that I have been doing a little something different with my hair ever since I have been working out, um, because I only wash my hair usually two, maybe three times a week, and um, my hair is healthier for the less frequent washing, and so in between I just take body showers, it, meaning I put my hair up and I don't wash my hair. Um, but with working out, it's like I am getting sweatier than I was before. So what I've been doing is like I just did it. So I'll go ahead and um, wash my hair in the shower, condition it, come out, put my products in it, blow dry it until it's completely dry um, with my Revlon One Step Styler. And um, 
Then once it's completely dry, I will spray along here and then in sections here, sections here and sections at the crown of my head, dry shampoo. And there are two different dry shampoos that I love. One is a Dove one that has a tint of brown to it so it doesn't leave that white. And then another one is, can't think of the brand name, um, Not Your Mother's, is that a brand? Um, and it's a texturizing um, dry shampoo, so it adds like a lot of body. I really like it. I will link them both below. I go between the two just kind of based on how I'm feeling. But I spray it around, and then I use my Revlon One Step Styler, and I go over those areas nice and slow, and it kind of works the dry shampoo into my hair. And it makes a huge difference because I feel like having the dry shampoo in there already, it's like ready to lock in the oil after I end the sweat and whatever. And I feel like my hair looks nice and fresh for a lot longer, um, even with working out. I'm not having to constantly be washing my hair. So that's a little tip from me to you. Let's talk about these NFCs. So I put one on top of my vitamins. So I learned about these um, about a week ago and bought them, and I've been having so much fun with them. So they're these little... A lot of times they're little circles and you can get a whole bunch of them for not very much like I got like 25 for like seven dollars so I will leave a link to them below I got them off Amazon and NFC stands for near field communication and basically you can program these so that whenever your phone taps this you just take your phone and tap the top of it you can make it do something so you can make it do like so these are all my vitamins my little care of vitamins which I love they come in little compostable packets for your daily vitamins. Um, after I take these in the evening, I tap my phone on top of here and I have a daily, I've had for a long time, a daily reminder that comes up at 8 p.m. that says take vitamins on my phone. And you know, it's like automatic with the reminders app and I have to manually tap it to say that I have marked it as complete. Not anymore. So after I take my vitamins, I just tap my phone on the top of this and it automatically marks that I have taken my vitamins. I have a little white one on top of my medication. And so instead of having to go into the reminders app and click mark it as complete after I take my meds, I just tap my phone on it and it marks it as complete. It's wonderful. You can set them up to do like literally millions of different things. You can have one on, there's several things that I wanna set them up to, I just haven't had the time yet. So I'm gonna put one on my bedside table that when I tap it, it turns off all the lights in the house. You obviously have to have either smart plugs or smart light bulbs, but it turn, when you tap it with your phone right before bed, it automatically turns off all the lights in the house, turns the thermostat to what your preferred sleeping temperature is, and it, arms your alarm system it turns on your alarm system just one tap you just tap it it's so cool um i'm gonna put a couple in my car and um that way you can tap them when you're in your car and i'm gonna set one up so that i can tap it and it will send a, an automated text to our babysitter that will give her based on where my car is my eta of when i'm coming home so i will type out the message like hey i'm heading home now i'll be there around and then you plug in um, like it will automatically calculate how long it will take and it will just automatically send that message when you tap it. I'm going to do another one that's similar, but for Riley, um, to text him, I'm going to put some in our, um, pantry and refrigerator. So I will put some in the refrigerator and pantry and then um, not only when I tap it, like I'll make specific ones, like I'll put one on the bin that we put our eggs in and one in whatever. And if you tap it, it won't just add the word eggs to a grocery list. You can set that up, but it will actually add your specified type of eggs that you purchase into your Walmart grocery cart, which, cause we use Walmart grocery pickup genius. It's so cool. You can have, I mean, you can do so many things with them like if you have one and you want to tap it it can like turn on your tv it can turn the lights down it can close your shades if you have smart shades it can do like cool the cool it down you can have one that turns on your coffee maker and does like a morning routine for you reads you your weather um there's just tons of things you can do with them like any kind of sequence of automation that you could possibly dream up um with like smart home stuff and technology you can do with these things and the cool thing is is that they're so inexpensive that you can use them all over the house 
Um, I love that. So I am not going to share like exactly how to set them up because I am not an expert. I'm just learning. But there are quite literally thousands of articles online, YouTube videos about how to set these up. And they are called, like I said, NFCs. So I will link the ones that I got below and I got that double sided tape below. Um, and then you can put them all over the house and have the time of your life just setting everything on autopilot. It's like so great. Um, it's, it's just nice. It's like cutting steps out. The cool thing is that you can take them and, um, because they're so little and thin, you can remove your um, light switches, like your your light plates that go around your light switches. And you can put them on the back side of it and then screw your light plate back into the wall. And then you know it's there and you can tap it and it can do whatever you want it to do in that room, but it's, it's discreet and it's away. Um, we're going to set one up in the guest room where if guests tap it, it will automatically connect them to our Wi-Fi. It's so cool. I love stuff like this, like cool technology. I think it's really cool. So if you want to learn more about them, you can, or some of you might be like super familiar with them, but I'm just learning about them. And like, I think they're super, really, really super cool. And I'm totally going to set some sequences up at my office and like just have so much fun. So that's the story with these NFC tags. They're pretty awesome. The time has come. We just got back from my niece's seventh birthday party. She just had like a little family pizza dinner. We had cake and ice cream, sang her happy birthday, gave her gifts. We got home, I just put Colin down to bed and the time has come to give Nora her dollhouse. Oh, I'm so excited, I can't wait. Um, we have been discussing it. Her birthday is not until the 30th, and today is, I think, the 15th or the 14th? The 14th. But it's her birthday month, and we're going to be gone for her actual birthday, so we always knew we were going to give it to her ahead of time. So I'm like, let's just give it to her. She's in, like, such a good mood today. She's been so, so, so great today. Like, let's just give it to her now, and she can enjoy it this whole weekend while we're at home. Um, and she's just going to be so thrilled. So I shared a whole bunch about putting it together and um, all of that last week. I will link all of the Calico Critters furniture and dolls and everything below. Oh my gosh, I thought that was Nora, but it's Charlie. <laughs> um, I will link that below as well as the dollhouse below if you're interested. It's fantastic. It's just so cute. Um, but let me show you it real quick and then I will film her reaction. She has no idea. It's like bedtime. She has no idea. She's about to get like... Her dream gift. So here it is. I showed all the little different spots in last week's vlog. Um, but I just, it's just so cute. The front of it is just adorable. Let's see if I can sort of show it. Riley was saying he kind of wants to try to set it up a little bit more like this so that she can play on both sides of it. It's like the front door opens and closes and stuff. For now, I'm just going to put it like this, uh, but I like his idea a lot, too, so I am going to go and tell Riley that I am ready. It's all set up, and I'm just so excited. This is such a mom dream come true moment for me that I've thought about my entire life, is giving my daughter a dollhouse. I'm so excited. Dollhouse. You go play with it. That's yours. That's we got you a dollhouse for your birthday. <laughs> Isn't that a tiny baby? Yeah. It has little people in it. What's in there? <laughs> little three, tiny baby. Little three little babies. Yeah, they're, they're in a stroller. Oh yeah, the stairs. They can go downstairs. Do you see the bathroom in the dollhouse? Look around. Can you find the bathroom? A bathroom? Where is it? A bathroom is it? What? A bathroom? 
In the kitchen. Hey, look. Is there a... Outside. Outside? Yeah, this is... I love this. You love this? Yeah. Are you so excited? Hey, Dad, you want to play with me in this? Yeah. Okay, come on. Okay. You want to play with me in this? Hey, I love that one off. It comes off? Yeah. And the beds come apart, too. You can make them bunk beds. Hey, look. Be... Yeah, it's like a pop, a grandpa down there. Pop, that's pop. the grandpa, and and that's Pop Pop, and Grammy is sitting at the table. Look at the table. She she's got some food in front of her. You see over here. And wow. then in the kitchen is mommy. Look at the kitchen. Look at all the little food. And that's daddy upstairs. That's daddy. And then Colin is in. He's in the bathtub. The There's bathtub. Colin. And Nur Nur is asleep. Look, Nur Nur's back there. In her bed. Put the stairs in, or you can take them out if you want. Whoa, was it a big dollhouse? Yeah. Hey, are you bought this? Yeah. Yeah, my doll. I love this. Oh, you love that? Yeah. I'm so glad you love hey, it. Hey, Daddy, thank you. Happy birthday, baby. You're welcome. Go give mommy a hug. Mommy, mommy, thank you. Oh. So welcome, baby. Hey, Dad, you want to play with me and be the dollhouse? Yeah. Okay, I'm on a way. Can I play with you too? <gasps> yeah. Okay. You can be the daddy. You the daddy. Okay. And you, you can be mommy, okay? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, look, there's a little tiny donut. Can the daddy eat that? Oh, thank you. Nora, look at this. Oh, look you inside the open fridge. Open your refrigerator. Oh, <gasps> There's food? Open the little drawers, too. There's more food in there. Mommy, I love my dollhouse. You love your dollhouse. <laughs> Maybe we could make real waffles in the morning. You want to do that? Yeah, I want. I, I want real waffles. You want real waffles? Yeah. Okay. I, I want real waffles. Okay. Oh, that's not real. That's a toy. <gasps> you gotta feed that to the little baby in the high chair. She's hungry. When I tell you that could not have gone better if I had scripted the whole scene. It was just, just so good. Riley and I were both like teary eyed. She just, she has told us both thank you and has exclaimed, I love my dollhouse like 50 times. We've been playing with her. We've been sitting here for about an hour. It's about nine o'clock. It's time for her to go to bed. Um, and this entire time, she just keeps on saying, I love my Dallas. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mommy. And she's just so pleased with it. And um, it's just great. I've been looking forward to giving her this gift for a very long time. And I'm glad we gave it to her now because since we're going to be out of town on her birthday, I... I would hate to give her a gift and then like a couple of days later it's still this like brand new fun gift and I'm like well we have to leave it at home because we're going away you know I'd much rather give it to her now and she has a few weeks to enjoy it before we actually go away um, and then of course it will be here upon our return but Riley and I were talking and Riley's like I can just hear her going off to college or whatever and talking to her friends and being like oh I'll never forget when I got my Calico Critters dollhouse and then he and I started talking about our you know core memory gifts as children and the things that we just will never forget that we received for birthdays or Christmas or whatever and I really hope this is a core memory gift for her regardless I think it will get many many years of love and play and I love that we can expand we can buy more furniture we can buy more um, Calico Critters like dolls for it and she can, you know, do whatever she wants with it, really. But she is a 
it's so, I just am sitting here watching her play, and it's like, it's so sweet. Um, but she needs to go to bed, and so do I. So I'm going to get her teeth brushed and put her down, and then go get in bed myself. But this was just a really, really sweet ending to our Friday. Oh, I just love her so much. Good morning. It's Saturday now, and Riley made some of the wild grain croissants. Y'all do not sleep on these. They are so, 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 so incredible. You can still get free croissants for life and a percentage off your box if you use my link below for wild grain. They rock. Here's the chef himself. Okay, what did you think about giving Nurna her dollhouse yesterday? I was, I didn't know when to give it to her, so um, we just were like spur of the moment. And I was so glad we did. She loved it. She came in this morning and she said, thank you, thank you, thank you, Daddy. I know. So she's really happy with it. She loves it so much. She's still not getting independent play with it, but that's just how she is. Yeah, she just is such an extrovert. I could trick her into playing by herself for a little bit. I'll like start to play with her, then I'll be like, I have to go check on something. She'll play really happy for like 10 minutes, but then she'll realize no one's there. Are you dancing, no, no? Hey guys, it's Saturday, like I said in the last clip, but it's been a few hours since then. I am up at my office, as you can tell. I just got finished up with a mentorship session, um, so that's always a great way to kick off my Saturday, and then I'm gonna head home here in a few minutes, and we are going to a pumpkin patch as a family, so that'll be really fun little fall Saturday outing. We did a fall festival last weekend and we're doing a pumpkin patch this weekend and it's just such a great time of year. I forgot to put my rings on this morning and I feel so weird and naked. Um, this shirt, it's actually a sweatshirt. This sweatshirt is like my new favorite thing ever. It's in one of my autumn colors, but it comes in so many different colors and it has these little ruffles, but it's just literally a sweatshirt. So it's super comfortable, but it kind of looks like you tried a little bit. Um, I will link it below. When I was wearing it, my sister and I were talking and she was like, I'm going on Amazon. It's from Amazon. I'm going on Amazon right now. And she ordered it in like a really pretty chocolate brown color. And I'm thinking I might need to add that to my collection too, because every time I wear it, people compliment me, but it's just the lowest key outfit choice. It was in my Amazon Prime Try Before You Buy box, which I said I was going to share in this week's vlog, but I ended up, um, it's just the shirt I was wearing earlier in the week I kept, and then this I kept, and then this really pretty <clears throat> like moss green fall dress. So whenever I wear that, I will show that. Those are the three things I kept. Um, so I didn't end up doing like a try on. I apologize. I know I said I would, but I didn't, so sorry. <clears throat> but I will link this below. I was also putting on my makeup this morning and I'm telling you this skin cycling thing is life-changing for me. I've been talking about it recently. It is working so well. I actually compiled all of the products that I'm using for skin cycling into a list all in one spot on my Amazon storefront. And so I will leave a link to that list below so that you can just find all of the products in one place. I have included tried and true products that I love that are both drugstore versions and high-end versions. So depending on what kind of option you're looking for, there's one of each um, for the moisturizers, for the cleansers, for the exfoliator, like all of the different options I have included one of each that I have tried and used all of the different products. Um, so actually currently I kind of like am using a mix. I'll link all my skin cycling stuff below. I will link this sweatshirt below. Um, and anything else that I've mentioned in this vlog, Nora's dollhouse, um, and all of her calico critter stuff, I actually put all of that in an Amazon storefront, like, page. I'm trying to make it easy for y'all because I get messages all the time, people asking for certain links, and I think it's easier if it's just, like, all in one place. My wild grain referral link, I think it's an affiliate link, actually. I will leave that linked below. This is such a good time of year to get into wild grain because... Thanksgiving's coming, the holidays are coming, and like being home a little bit more, having some days off work, being able to make like fresh croissants, their fresh bakery chocolate chip cookies, which are the bomb, their fresh sourdough bread. It's like, I can't even explain. We love it so much. We love it so much. We have continued our subscription. I got the verse box for free to see if I liked it from the company as a gift. And ever since then, we have paid and gotten, you know, all of our boxes. We just love it. Still love it. So I'll leave a link to that below as well. 
Anyway, I don't think I have anything else to say. We're going to head out to the pumpkin patch. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. Thank you so much for following along with us this week, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!